Hey, say right. Anonymous here. Uh, coming here to share with you uh, a little game that we have been playing at uh, HQ for the uh, past couple of months, and we've had quite a lot of success and fun with it, called The Head Hunt. Um, this is basically a very, very simple, sparring, free play game, which you can play with people with just a very minimum of equipment, got very, very simple rules, but it's a very, very fun kind of type of uh, two-person exercise that you can do kind of impromptu with people um, who may be of different levels of experience. Um, so we can go right into it. Now, as I said, we've been using this for a couple of months now, or for a few months at least, and uh, the basics of it are that the only target that is valid is the head. So when you're when we're sparring around, the only target is the head. Now, of course, hand strikes and incidental hand strikes are going to be common. Um, those are not counted. Um, if you do strike the hand with a direct hit to the hand, we reset the point. If you don't, if you just kind of graze it or as you're in a bind or something like that, it comes and kind of incidentally grazes your hand and all of that, we generally don't we generally ignore those for the sake of gameplay and just keep it going um, um, in that in that fashion. So the only target is the head, right? You can't hit the hands um, without resetting the point. So the hands are pretty much off limits. Um, pretty much all the other body is off limits. You're only going for the head now. To get the head, it has to be a clean shot, so it can't be a tip kind of graze off the mask or, or anything like that. It must be a hit or a stab. Um, one of those things has to happen. Um, it has to make a sound on the helmet. It has to be enough that it will uh, um, create some sort of change in, in the opponent, right? So just incidental strikes are completely ignored. Now. Double hits and after blows are disallowed. So if I strike out and I get the head, but they hit me anywhere else on my body at the same time, the strike does not count and we reset, go to the point. All right. Now we played around with some right of way um, rules as well, uh, meaning we would either do one of these motions like this before stabbing or or pretty much anything. So you'd have to do one of these motions here or bring the blade behind you in some fashion, either by an orbit, round, or something like that. And that's to initiate your attack and then it has to be judged uh, back and forth. Now we played with this, it was fun, but we kind of feel that the game doesn't really need it. Um, it moves well enough as it is, and the right of way kind of complicated it just a little bit. Um, we'll show you some more uh, footage here in just a second of the matches that we played um, and all of that. So uh, the reason that we've started playing this, and the reason I kind of like it, is it's contra contrasted with the hand hunt, which is just going for the hand. The hand hunt is very athletic. It's about movement. It's about moving your hand and, and being aware of space and everything like that. Here, the object of the game is to break down the opponent's defenses and get inside. Get that really, really hard target of the head. Right? It's not to say that the head is the most appropriate target, but it is a very good target. Um, and it's hard to hit. Um, uh, body shots and arm shots, hand shots, of course, are much, much easier, especially when we're playing here with lightsabers. So the object is to get inside. Now this requires you to use different tactics and different techniques than you normally would in, say, just a regular free play match. Um, because of that restriction, you've got now an added challenge and something that you can kind of move in. Uh, into a more kind of competitive uh, arena with. Um, and what I mean by that is, in competitive play, 
there are lots of concerns that you're keeping in head in your head. Um, just like in real life, if you were on the field of battle or something like that, it's not just I have to think about my technique and I have to think about this. No, I have to think about where am I in in space. Uh, uh, where are my friends, if I have any, or if I'm playing, you know, if I'm, if I'm dueling or I'm playing a match with somebody else, right, I have to know how they're reacting. What are they doing, right? Is it giving me problems? Are they, you know, um, pushing me off my balance or, or, or what have you? All of these types of things. Um, and limiting the target to the head and having these kind of very simple rules allows you to really find techniques that will specifically allow you to get through people's defenses. It will also help you practice the the act of kind of move, maneuvering your way through uh, somebody else's weapon to get the target that you want, not just throwing random strikes out and hoping one of them hits something. Um, we want to be able to choose our targets and be able to uh, land those hits exactly where we want them so that we can not only get our hits that we want, but we can take the opponent and hopefully uh, dictate their responses if we're aware enough of what's going on. So I can throw specific shots to, to certain areas and get them to respond if I'm aware and observant enough to see how they respond to these different things. Right. Okay. So we're going to take a look at some of the matches here with the with the head hunt. You'll see they're they're pretty fun. We are probably going to have some competitions um, with this rule set um, in the near future. It's a very nice, simple rule set. We'll put the whole thing with all of the little details uh, below in the description so that you can reference them. I haven't spoken about every little eventuality that came up, but we had a lot of them, so we'll kind of put them there. So. Enjoy that. Um, until next time, I will see you then. Happy training. Have a good day. Happy savoring. There it is.
deactivation. Ha, 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 ha.